This is an overview of the 2005 DARPA Grand Challenge race across the desert. Carnegie Mellon's Highlander started the race. The race was based only on running time, so the starts were staggered. Next we have Stanford's car Stanley beginning the race. Stanley pulls out in front of the crowd and then takes off into the desert. Here it's coming, doing a sharp turn and coming back. This shows the map in which officials and the crowd were able to track the car's progress in the race. Next we see where Stanley passed Highlander. We'll come up and we'll see now the LiDAR view. The cars were racing strictly on time, but Highlander was getting in Stanley's way, so they stopped it and let Stanley pass. Next we're showing Stanley coming down the mountain pass. Uh, we'll speed this up. This is where the GPS was inaccurate, so if you followed the GPS exactly, you'd go off the cliff. But Stanley's using vision, so it corrected to the road. After the mountain, Stanley crossed the plain, and this is the sequence of coming into the finish line. You can see Stanley driving up to the crowd, and that's the winning of the 2005 DARPA Grand Challenge, which set off the autonomous driving industry. Stanley can now be found in the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum. And this is the Stanford team that created Stanley, many of whom have gone on either to Waymo or careers all over the world.